Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews Unboxing. Before we begin, as you know, I have a Patreon page and this month we've had four new subscribers. So a massive thanks to David Martin and Phil Collins, but a huge, huge thanks to Barely Average Gaming and Mr. Adam Hartley. Both of you are subscribed to the Silver Tier, so you will be getting your Stu's Reviews t-shirt and your Xiaomi bag very, very soon. So a massive, massive thanks to you. And just a reminder, if you want a shout out, don't forget to head down to the links in the description below where you can check out my Patreon page and you can join for as low as $1 a month and it gets you a shout out and loads of discounts on stuff that I've reviewed in the past and the future, hopefully. With that said, let's move on. It looks very strange. I don't really want well, I don't even know where to start cutting into this because I don't want to rip it. Now, I'll just say as well, it's a bit of a smaller month this month. I've not had a great deal sent to me. Hopefully, it's some good stuff, though. Cody, what is this? Okay. Okay. How do you open it? What the? There we are. go. It's a USB plug. X Godi. Make everything valuable. I don't know why these companies like to have slightly bizarre, like slogans underneath. What is it? Oh, it's a phone. Okay, well, it looks quite interesting. The bag is actually really quite nice. Hmm. I'm not sure about the feel. Feel doesn't feel the best. Is that a screen protector or something? No, it's a screen protector. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Can we turn it on? Anything happening? Anything happening? Are there batteries in it? That's the question. But it's weird. It looks to me like it's got sort of an iPhone 10 style design with a notch at the top, but it also has quite clearly a square screen. So it's very odd. It's as if they've tried to make it look a particular way, but then not put a full screen technology in. Okay, no worries. What have we done with that plug? There we are. Now, if you've just tuned in, welcome to another episode of uh, Is This Gonna Set My House On Fire? Okay. All right. Nothing's happening. Leave that there for a bit and I'll come back to that then. Wow, next we have something with loads of Chinese writing on. Okay. Oh, that's an unbelievable amount of paper. But this is a lexicon of Chinese stuff. What is this? No idea. Good God. It seems to have gone through some sort of compliance testing. Right, these are separate wireless earbuds, a bit like the AirPods. Now, there's only really ever been one set of these that I've actually enjoyed, and those were the R. Billy ones, which I'll leave a link to there. You can see that review. I actually really enjoyed those. So, whether or not these are going to be any good, I don't know. But typically speaking, I always have a nightmare setting them up. Ear fun. Ear fun free. Right, are they charged? Probably not. Right, they're connected apparently. These are connected. Lights have gone off. So let's pop them in, see how they feel. Not the most comfortable things in the entire world, I'm not going to lie. Right, let's play a song. Right, let's have a listen to a bit of Oi. So, everything seems quite quiet except the bass. 
and the bass is quite good when it's not too loud but the moment it starts punching there is a bit of a tinniness in that bass and that's a bit disappointing but I will say that they paired up very very easy I don't know how much these are, but I will leave a link in the description below as usual. So check them out. I don't know if they're worth it. If I would say I would pay £30 for these, maybe. Not the best sound I've ever heard, ever. Also not the worst. Okay, on to this one. Right, what is it? It's another well-packaged item. I've noticed the Chinese like to use this yellow tape. I don't know why. Ooh, nearly cut myself then. They also like to, uh, I'd say, overuse the yellow tape. What's inside it? Wash now. Ooh, wash now. Okay, these guys got in touch about a month ago and they said they'd send me one of their products. Now, can you guess what a wash now is? I mean, the clue's in the name. There isn't much clue on the packaging though, it's just a white box with a bit of a pattern on it. I don't know if you can see that pattern, but it's too bright. But the wash now is... Mm, it's a way to wash your clothes without a washing machine. I think the idea is that you take it travelling with you. Turn wash now back into power and put into water. Right, well I think the idea is that you just drop it in the water. But apparently it can be powered by a battery? Wash Now is specifically designed for washing thin and delicate clothes like underwear, silk dresses, or t-shirts. I'm gonna have to try this, I need some water. Okay, I've got here some water. As you can see, I think the idea with this is that I put something in it, like a sock. So if I'm in the hotel, I can put a sock in a sink, like that. It says to douse my sock in there. And then I use my phone battery to plug this in like this. All right, and then turn that on. Okay, there's a red light. What does the red light mean? into water. Well, it's not electrocuting me just yet. See, this is a recipe for disaster, this, isn't it? Well, hold on. Is it doing something? Oh, it is doing something. Well, that's weird. What's it doing? It's like pumping out this. Hold on. It's like it's pumping out some sort of. Can you see that? It's like pumping out some sort of weird mist on the inside of the water. What's it doing? And why is it doing that? Without detergent. Okay, here we are, here we are, here we are. Product features. Wash Now uses water electrolysis to eliminate 99.98% of the germs. In just 20 to 25 minutes, your clothes will be clean, refreshed, and odor free without. Obviously, I cannot verify that claim because. Well, I haven't got a germ measurer. Is that what they're called? Joe, you know I think I'm gonna to have to get a germ measurer at some point so I can try this out properly. But that is a very interesting concept. But for now, I'm gonna put it over here. Right, moving on to this, which has a great big hole in it, which is good. And we <laughs> Anyone familiar with the last months unboxing will remember me opening some Big Boss headphones. Okay. The 
They're not even in there. They're not even... What is this? Is this a joke? Well, I've now been sent another pair of BitBoss headphones. Let's hope there's actually something in this package. Moment of truth. Oh, they're in there. And actually, they look cool. Like chrome. Ooh, they look shiny. Okay, well, that's slightly more promising. Thank you, BitBoss, for sending me some that actually works. And that is quite a nice design as well. Mm, very reminiscent of AirPods. Very reminiscent indeed. Okay, right, let's hope these got some charge. Okay, so I've tapped pair. That should, in theory, be it, I believe. Now, this is weird. So already in the Bluetooth settings, it seems to me like the left and right one are separate Bluetooth channels. Oh, it's going to get confusing already, I can see. Okay, let's listen to that music where we started off. No, only one of them is playing. Okay, how do I get them both playing? Ah. Right, okay, so I've disconnected one of those that I joined a second ago. Let's have a listen to... Better. Keen on these, I'm afraid, Big Boz. After all that, no, I'm sorry, Big Boz. I'm not massively convinced by those. I mean, the sound isn't terrible, but nor is it anything that I would say is spectacular. A bit like the other ones, really. <sighs> Again, the sound a little bit muddy. I will give you bonus points, however, for the design. I really like the design, but although actually saying that, how oh, the hell did you get them back in here? What's the right combination of Patterns, oh there we are. Okay, yeah, I personally wouldn't go for these myself. Sound was a bit muddy, design is very nice, but they are headphones and you do want good sound. So not 100% with those I'm afraid, Bit Buzz, but uh, certainly a good effort with the design, I will say that. Right. sake another pair of headphones will people stop sending me headphones and send me something else that's good right these are called dr viva true what dr viva <laughs> dr viva <sighs> that's funny I, I don't know why that is funny that is just so funny, Dr. Viva. Right, let's have a listen to these then. These are a bit different. They don't have earbuds on the end. They're just like little mini speakers. Have a look at this closer. I don't can see that at all. Hmm, okay, right. This could be interesting. Hmm, not that comfortable. Bit, a bit strange actually because they haven't got the earbuds. But they are a bit more comfortable than earbuds. I mean, I've never been a massive fan of earbuds. I prefer things like the AirPods that just sit in your ear in this outer bit here rather than actually going into your ear canal. I find that sort of stuff quite uncomfortable. This is not too bad. Right, let's have a listen to some music then. Good start. We've only got one playing. Right, okay, how do we turn this one on? No, that's this one playing now. One side of the earbuds, water my fresh and blue. Open the phone. Uh, for whatever reason, I can only get it playing through one headphone at a time. If I press this button here, it switches to that one. And then if I press this button here, it switches to that one. That's absolutely frustrating. Yeah, okay, well, the sound is actually not that bad on these ones by Dr. Viva, but my criticism is I can't get them paired up properly. I mean, oh, zero score there for ease of use. Uh, I would say sound, I'd give it a solid six maybe, but I can't really test it properly because I haven't got stereo capabilities. Um, 
overall experience, four, maybe less. If I had more time, I might be able to get them working, but I don't have one all the time in the world. Please don't head first. No, it's not headphones. It looks like it's going to be uh, an, a camera. Nui Cam Indoors. Okay. Ooh, that's nice looking. Hmm. Okay, let's download the app and have a look at this. See how easy this is to set up. Right, so far, while I'm waiting for that to download, this phone by Xcody is doing absolutely zero things. I'm gonna open the back. Let's have a quick look. Have I done something wrong? Aha! There looks to be like there's a cover. Oh, silly me. We're on. And I was correct. For whatever reason, they've decided to sort of do a bizarre iPhone 10 style outside but have just a square screen. And actually, I do remember that... Well, the screen's not too bad. There's a bit of a light blade, possibly. I don't know what to tell at the moment. I'm gonna take the screen protector off, it's horrible. Oh dear, that was quite noisy. That's better. Screen feels a bit plasticky, it's not the best. But the actual screen quality itself is not too bad. Hmm, it actually seems quite nippy. Okay. Not bad. Not brilliant, but not bad. I think this one might need a more in-depth look at that. Let's put that over there for now. Okay, so, right, this is all up and running. I need to plug this camera in. It seems all very well designed. I mean, the, the charging bit is like a triangle. It fits nicely in the bottom there. I must say, it all seems very nicely designed, actually. Okay. Okay. Oh, that seems very easy. Done next. Pairing. Now it's going to take 95 seconds apparently, so I'm going to put that there and let's move on to the next one. Well, was that incorrect Wi Fi password? Was it? Oh dear, right, okay, what is my password then? Right, let's give that a little bit of time and see if that was the correct Wi-Fi password. I don't know. Uh, I want to move on to something else, but I'm going to have to wait until this works. I've forgotten my Wi-Fi password. Oh, God. I'm getting old. Correct Wi-Fi password. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, not a problem. Okay, next. This is definitely, definitely, definitely my password. Definitely. It's making a noise. Ooh, nice little animation in the app. Okay, okay, name my camera. Uh, office, that will do. I'm gonna put this over here, and we're gonna record an episode of Stu's reviews like this. So, I'm recording now. Actually, I don't even know if this thing does sound. Does it? I don't know. But, hello and welcome back to another episode of Stu's reviews. To be honest, this is like unbox therapy with the big hands. Yeah, it seems okay. There's a bit of lag on here. But the quality seems quite good. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Very, very hard to tell through the phone. Okay, so we've only got a couple more packages left. Let's have a look for what's inside this one. It's 
stand, cable, adapter. Ah, I know what this is. I've been excited to try this. This is the Laser Beam Pro. Yes, you're probably wondering what the hell a Laser Beam Pro is. And to be honest, I'm wondering as well. But as far as I'm aware, this is a projector that uses lasers to focus rather than you having to manually focus it. So it doesn't matter where you project it, what wall, how far away you project it, it will focus it automatically for you. And it's supposed to be very, very good. I mean, look, it won CES 2017. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's have a look then. Well, that is a dinky little design. Look at that. Nice little design. Very, very portable. Does it have a battery? Oh, oh, it's turning on. Well, that is in focus already. Wow. Well, I can't show you now, but I'm projecting over onto the wall over there. And it is in focus already. I tell you what, what I'll do is I'll put in a clip of it now for you. What's even more disappointing is that the government is taking their sweet time and blatantly dragging their feet when it comes to updating the antiquated laws surrounding modes of personal electric transport. It's quite quiet. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, never look in a bloody projector thing. Well, it is focused. I must say, I didn't have to do anything. I mean, that is quite happily projecting across most of the wall. Well, I'm gonna to have to have another go at this later. But that is superb. Even in bright light like this, I am excited to give this another go. I think this is gonna make it to a review. Oh, I get what that's for now. That's obviously to stand it up. Is that the final one? Yep, okie dokie. Now let's have a look and see what's inside it. Interesting. What are these? Sky Solo Plus and the Aurora Play. Oh. Hold on a minute, are these some sort of, what's that? I think this is some kind of vape pen. There's a big problem with this though. I don't smoke. That well, that's everything as well. So we've got no more packages to open. I guess June's winner is going to be this, the Laser Beam Pro. I mean, I've had some pretty unusual gadgets today. That wash now device seems extremely weird. And actually, if it works, that'd be pretty cool. But I've tested this. I've seen it in action. And from what I've seen so far, about 30 seconds of use, I've been impressed already. So I'm actually super excited to get this open and test this further. So stay tuned for an episode on that at some point soon. Now remember, if you want a shout out next month, don't forget to subscribe to me over on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description as usual. Other than that, I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon. Right, let's go and watch some Harry Potter. Before you go, consider supporting me on my Patreon page by clicking here. It'll give you some great discounts on stuff I've reviewed and helps me to continue doing reviews. If you want to see some fun stuff, click here to see the highlights of Stu's reviews. And as a friendly reminder, click this button to subscribe.